Hi everyone, it's Carrie, and this is my NYC part 2 vlog. So first we set out to eat breakfast, which was a bagel and some coffee. This cafe has maple syrup coffee, which is actually one of my favorite coffee flavors. I chatted with my mom while we were eating our breakfast. It was really cold outside, so we went back to our hotel to eat inside. Next, we went to Manhattan to visit Kino Kunuya, which is a Japanese bookstore. My mom and I were looking for a book for my nephew. I actually went to this Kino Kunuya hoping that they had a Chinese language learning section because sometimes they have it, but this time they didn't, so I just looked at their manga and all the manga were wrapped, so I couldn't even read them. And I also got a hat for my cat. Next, we went to the Met. I really enjoy museums that have historical items. I was actually so inspired by all of the museums I've visited that I changed my major to biomedical anthropology. And that's totally not just because I'm bad at math. <laughs> this was by far the busiest museum I've ever been to. And they also have a college student discount, so be sure to get that if you're a college student. Their mummy exhibit was huge. I've never seen so many sarcophagi and mummies in one spot. It was really impressive. One of my favorite things to do in museums is to look at all the small items they've found. Some of them are so small, I'm shocked that they even managed to find them, and let alone that those items have survived that long. Next was the East Asian exhibit. To be honest, I was a little underwhelmed with this exhibit. It was very small, and they didn't explain the items as well as I would have liked. But it did have a cool indoor garden area, and it even had a little koi fish pond. This was the biggest elevator I've ever been in in my life. But they did have a large variety of European paintings, and it was really fun getting up close and personal and seeing every single brush stroke. The exhibit rooms are fascinating. After seeing them, I really wanted to visit Versailles. By the time we got out, it was snowing. As a Floridian, I am not built for these conditions. Next, I went to a cute cafe called Butter Dose. They had a lot of cream puffs, and their egg tarts were really yummy. The cafe was super cute, but with limited seating. This was actually my mom's first time trying an egg tart. She really liked it. Then I got boba. I knew this boba was going to be good because I could feel how warm the boba was on the bottom. We stopped at a Japanese cosmetic store, and then we went to dinner. We went to a Yemen restaurant. We ordered hummus and fasulia that had kidney beans, tomatoes, and onion. You eat them both with a flatbread. I gave it a 10 out of 10. They give us lamb soup on the house as well. Then I saw this crazy dude wearing shorts while it was snowing. When we got back to the hotel, I ate the cream puffs and they were both so good. The next day, we went to an area by the Brooklyn Bridge. For some reason, the subway was completely empty, but hey, I'm not complaining. For breakfast, we went to a French bakery called Almondine. I'm not normally into croissants, but I ordered a coffee in a chocolate almond croissant. That chocolate almond croissant was so good that I still think about it at least once a week. We walked around for a bit at a park with a great view of the bridge. And then it was time to go to the Museum of Modern Art, aka MoMA. I'm not really the biggest fan of modern art, but my mom is. 
She really wanted to see the Georgia O'Keeffe exhibit, but it wasn't open for another few weeks, so we were both very disappointed. We saw the Pinocchio movie sets and everything is so small and detailed. The gift shop is really good, but expensive. I was getting bored of the extremely abstract art, but I enjoyed everything else. And this was actually my second time seeing that Dali painting in person. They even had a video game exhibit. Which of these is the most memorable for you? I played getting over it and I didn't make it very far at all. This robot has a flag asking people to help it reach MoMA. All it does is go straight, so it relies on people to set it in the right direction. Their creators thought people would damage it or mess with it, but actually every single person helped it. Yes, I did go to the same Bobo place twice, and it was just as good the second time around. I went to a Korean restaurant to grab a snack. I got the grilled rice cakes and sausage. Because my mom doesn't eat meat, I took a rice cake off of the skewer for her to try. And here's a little story about me. So, one of my best friends in high school was an exchange student from Belgium. I actually met my boyfriend through her. I hadn't seen her since I was 14, so it's been 5 years. She just so happened to be in New York for an internship, so we met up. It was so nice to catch up with her and recreate our last picture together. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!